so what I'm going to install today here is this chip that is going to go behind my airbag and I'm going to put this on the right scroll wheel. You can put this on either scroll wheel, um, but I like putting it on the one that controls my speed. Uh, you can put it on the one that does volume, but then you're going to see it pop up on the screen and I'll show a little video of that. Of So if you do put it on the left scroll wheel, what would happen is you would see the volume pop up every couple seconds on your screen. And again, that's not what I would want to have happen because that would get really annoying to me. So instead, I put it on the right scroll wheel, which all it does is adjust your speed up and down, up and down, up and down. That's a lot less intrusive on the screen because you barely notice that. And again, if it was on the other side, you'd see that volume pop up like that. If I take off autopilot, and then nothing really even happens. So again, that's why I really like having it on the right scroll wheel. And this again just plugs into the existing harness. And the first thing that you need to do is pop the airbag cover off. So a couple things you can use, uh, small flathead screwdriver works, uh, or even two Allen wrench uh, with just like a flat end on it work. And there are two holes that you have to insert these into and there's like a, a springed uh, piece of metal in there. And once you hit that spring piece of metal, you push that in and then up. And what that'll do is it'll release the pins on the top and release the pin down into the bottom. You can see now how you're pushing on this springed wire. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna unlatch the hooks on the airbag. You have three hooks, two on the top and one on the bottom. And again, the trick here is not just to go straight in, but to go in and then up. Because that's going to unlatch the bottom one and the top two kind of at the same time. And you really need to be going in from both sides at the same time. Be pushing both sides in and up. Now, another little trick is when you are putting a screwdriver or an Allen wrench through that hole, you can see how I can bring it back towards me and I can snap it off, but you can't really go too far towards the you know, front of the car. So you can always apply some of that pressure towards the front of the car, and then you'll never really slip off of that springed wire. And I can feel the spring on this side. You see how that already popped this side loose? And if I find this other side here, all right, I can feel that side with the Allen wrench, and then I want to go up with them both. And what that does is that pops the airbag out. And then I'm not going to disconnect the airbag for this. Uh, also, it's probably good to keep the Bluetooth off on your phone. So in case you accidentally hit the brake pedal, you won't turn the car on and have the airbag go off. Um, but I already have this unhooked back here. But what you're going to undo, uh, unhook is the harness here on the right side. You can take this off. Here, I'll show you how that works. And that can give you a little bit more room here with the wiring and you can pop this harness off. And then, when you plug this in, you should see a little red light and a, and a beep. If you plug it in the wrong way, you will not get the red light or the beep. So again, make sure that you're plugging this in and seeing the red light flash and seeing the beep. And then we have to go ahead and plug this back in. All right, now we have the chip properly installed into the existing blue harness and then plugged into the back of the scroll wheel harness as well. And what we can do is do a quick test. I'm gonna tap um, this button here twice. I get two quick beeps. If I tap it again twice, I get one long beep. That's just telling me that I'm turning on and off the chip. So everything there is working good. I'm gonna go ahead and tuck that back behind. Um, I did snap this black plastic piece back in place already. Um, I have all my wires kind of tucked back behind here. So everything's out of the way and ready for the airbag to come back up. And we just have to line that up in place and give it a good firm push and make the neighbors wonder what's going on again. Just make sure that's all in place and we're ready to go. And I will show you how to do some settings. 
Okay, the first setting we're gonna go over is just turning this chip on and off. So if there's somebody driving your car that you might not wanna have uh, be using this chip, here's how you do that. You're gonna click the scroll wheel straight in two times. One long beep means that it's on. And if you hit it again, two quick beeps means it is turned off. There are a lot of settings. I'm just gonna go through a couple here in this video. One of the other settings that I like is to save the previous setting. So if I turn on the chip um, and I'm driving somewhere and I park for a couple hours and get back in my car, the chip could be turned back off again. Um, and that's kind of annoying for me because I drive the car 99% of the time. So I don't wanna have to keep coming in here and tapping this button you know, and turning it on like I just did. So the way to do that is I'm gonna tap it twice. I'm gonna make sure the chip is turned off. And to do this setting, we are going to do this scroll wheel six times. But the very last time we're gonna hit and hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, hold. You hear that weird kind of beep? So the default is that it won't save. If I turn this dial up, you can hear it beep twice. If I turn it down, you can hear me beep twice down. Hear that? So basically I have setting one and setting two. If I'm on the, the second setting, that means that it is going to save my settings. So then I press this in and you hear the two beeps again and that tells me that my setting is saved. So again, that's a really good one for you to know to do. And now if I tap it again twice, one long beep, it's on. Now it's going to stay on and remember. All right, then this setting is if you want to make it first add and then subtract or uh, subtract and then add or alternate or if you want to just have it have a ton of different levels of random adding and subtracting, uh, this is the setting for that. Uh, I'm turning this on just to be a lot of randomness because I don't want Tesla software to pick up anything you know, automatically changing this at a same frequency on and off. So again, you have to make sure the chip is turned off. And now this one is nine times we're gonna push the wheel to the left. And again, on the ninth time, we're gonna hold it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, this one has four settings. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, yep. So the first setting here, so you can hear that one is add, then subtract, and then subtract, then add, and then alternate between the two, and then the highest level is a bunch of randomness. So I'm gonna put it on that one so it does a lot of random adding and subtracting. Save it, and then I'm gonna turn it back on, and I'm good to drive in that setting. So now with the chip installed, you can see that the speed will be adjusted automatically for you to mimic you touching the steering wheel. Just remember the camera will still be watching you, so you still gotta be attentive. And thank you for watching and enjoy.